Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you aren't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, I feel like I have more to say to you guys but in all reality, I really don't. Um, basically, this video is just going to be me getting ready. I'm about to head out and I just figured why not film and bring you guys along for how I got this. Look, I'm not even dressed yet because... I don't know but <laughs> this is the final makeup and hair look and let's just get straight into the video so you guys can see how I went from looking like that to this so before I get started I'm actually going to put my raw beauty ex wow I'm going to put my raw beauty face oil on I use this oil every day twice a day on so I don't know what just happened, but my camera just completely turned off, which was so weird. Um, but like I was saying, um, I see that you guys really like the hauls and, you know, me talking, me showing you guys more of my personality and just sharing a little bit more about my life. So I'm definitely taking that into consideration. Um, and so my next few videos will definitely be more personal. Um... And just interesting and stuff like that. I, what did I do? What did I do to my hair? I think I, what do you call that thing? Wong curled, oh my god. Like, I just had like a brain fart just now. I wong curled my hair, I want to say, like, maybe like three days ago. Three or two days ago. And, um, I just put the flexi rods back in it. Okay, so now that I have taken all of those flexi first of all what the hell <laughs> but anyway now that I have taken those flexi rods out this is how my hair is looking I am NOT going to separate the curls just yet because I really wanted to stay and of course the curls are gonna drop so I'll, I'll rather them drop after I get ready and after oh my god I usually do a better job at like blending my leave out okay. So let's just keep this like that. I look crazy as hell. Okay, so now that we have that done, I'm going to start off with my eyebrows, of course. I'm just going to film my eyebrows on camera. I usually don't, but I've just been feeling like, feeling, eh, like doing them on camera. So that's just that. If I keep looking over, it's because I'm looking at my monitor here. I don't know what the heck is wrong with my camera. Now... I have been having it stop um, a few times, so let's just pray that while I am filming this, it doesn't stop. I need my eyebrows done, guys. So, I've been noticing that it's been a little bit hard for me to do my eyebrows and they come out how I want them to. So, just bear with me. I'm not going to be using my NYX eyebrow gel in this video because I feel like being that my eyebrows need to be done I want to have a lot of control over them so I'm going to use this eyebrow pencil it doesn't even matter where I got the eyebrow pencil from because it's not like any type of brand or anything and I'm like practically almost done so I honestly don't even remember the name of it um so I'm just gonna go ahead and just oh my god it's so small but what I really like I think I'm gonna start using a pencil again because what I really like about the pencil is that you can kind of like create your own eyebrow. And it kind of like stays. Now with the eyebrow gel, it stays, but it's like, I don't know. It kind of like, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. But I just feel like you have more, um, you have more control with the pencil of like how you draw your eyebrows on. And that's definitely... The goal, especially if I want to like add it like longer or bring it up a little bit higher, which I usually don't do. But I like as of lately, I've been into like bringing out my brows to be kind of like longer, but not too long to where it's like right here. But um, you guys get what I'm saying. So just like this, yeah, my eyebrows need to be done. So they're not like they're not the best. Um, and I'm just going to fill this one in 
the same way and what I'm probably going to end up doing is filling it in um, on camera and then I'll probably most likely conceal them out off camera and then come back so that we can do eyeshadow um, I'm still trying to decide if I want to really talk about anything in today's video besides like me getting ready um yeah because I'm actually getting ready to go like outside so this is not like a get ready with me where I'm just like filming for you guys I'm literally getting ready um you guys are literally getting ready with me <laughs> so um yeah I'm gonna go ahead clean these eyebrows off off camera clean these eyebrows up off camera I don't know why I cannot talk today I'm gonna go ahead clean them up and I'll be right back so that we can get into this eyeshadow okay so I went ahead and prepped my eyelids already off camera just because why not I used I don't know what that cloth was for but I'm like super hype right now I don't know why um but I used my elf hydrating primer in the color medium beige to prep my um eyelids i'm gonna go ahead and just because it was a little creasing a little bit guys if i keep looking over here like i said before i'm just making sure that my camera is still recording um now today is um hmm, today's not that sunny outside and the outfit that i'm wearing is I'm wearing white, which is a big risk when you're going outside wearing white. But I wanted to keep some, like I wanted to keep my eyeshadow something um, not too much, not too dr dramatic. So I think that I'm going to go with some brown and gold. Keep it cute. Keep it very subtle. I'm going to be using my Top Beauty eyeshadow palette. I got this palette from Amazon and um, I, th I feel like it's a really good palette. It has a lot of colors in it and it it's cool for the most part, you know. Um, so I am going to go ahead and... Sorry guys, like my brain is like all over the place. I'm going to go ahead with this color. Oh my god, I feel like this eyeshadow... I feel like this concealer keeps creasing and I don't want to... I don't want to set the concealer because then I feel like the eyeshadow is just going to like literally slide off. So I need to hurry up. So I'm going to go ahead with this like brown neutral color right here. I don't know if you guys can really see. I'm going to go ahead with that. And I'm just going to do that as my transition color. I don't want my eyeshadow to be too much. I don't want to have too much eyeshadow because it's very cloudy outside. And I just don't, I'm already wearing, I'm already wearing white, first of all. And it's not even, like, sunny out. So I don't want to, like, draw too much attention to myself. But I am not changing my outfit. I'm not. <laughs> I'm really not. So I'm just going to go ahead and just blend that out. I'm not really using any kind of, like, technique. I'm just going to bring it down to, like, my nose, though. But I'm not really using uh, a technique. Just because, do I ever really... Um, so yeah, I'm just going to keep bringing it down as my transition color and just blend it out. I'm still trying to decide if I want to add a third color or if I just want to do two colors. But I definitely, I also don't want to like build it up too much to where it kind of looks like pinkish. I feel like with this brown it kind of looks like it's brown it's a neutral nude brown but for some reason to me maybe it's just my eyes but for some reason to me it comes out as like a pink like a i don't know how to explain it but i i don't want that i just wanted like a a brown so okay i'm just gonna go ahead and quickly do the other eye i really this is the only like brown neutral color that i really like from this top beauty um eyeshadow palette um i have well okay so guys i filmed like so many different videos that i haven't posted like far as like with makeup just because i wanted to try something different on my channel and i'm so glad that i did because you guys really responded so well to my last two videos so if you haven't already make sure you check those videos out because they're really funny and they're really interesting and if everybody else likes it i guarantee that you're gonna like it as well um so yeah i wanted to try something different and i'm so glad that i did so now that i have 
um, you know, kind of an insight on that. I'm going to have a mixture of different videos on my channel. I was trying to stick to strictly like makeup and keeping that content for you guys, but you know, adding a little bit of spice and switching it up here and there clearly has worked out for me. So I'm definitely going to be taking that into consideration. And now that I have that blended out, I think I'm pretty satisfied with this. I'm going to, I, I actually am going to be using a third color just um because i feel like it would make it pop so i'm going to be using my um true complexion contour palette and i'm going to be using the color sculpt um just because the contour color is too dark but i didn't want for this palette i did not want to get the medium dark medium to dark palette and then the the powders just look too ashy and stuff on me so um i'm going to go ahead and use this sculpt color and I feel like I feel like it should be darker. Yeah, okay, yeah. This was like a perfect. And I'm just gonna add that in a corner to kind of give that. Yeah. I don't know what I'm trying to give, but I'm giving something here. And I'm just gonna keep blending it out. Sorry guys. I feel like I'd be wanting to talk while I'm doing my makeup, but I feel like when I actually be quiet, I don't know if you can, um, when I'm actually quiet, my makeup kind of comes out better, which is weird because, like, I mean, you're filming your makeup, so it's like, but yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and just do the same thing on this eye. Just kind of, like, blend that out. Like I said before, I have no technique, so... And this gold color that I'm going to use for my eye. Guys, I use the same brush. <laughs> but I am going to go in with a brush that has no, um, nothing on it just to kind of blend it out. I don't think that this is the right kind of brush. But it's fine. I'm just doing that to kind of blend out that transition color and that darker color on the side. So that it doesn't be as harsh. Guys, y'all know I don't really like. Okay. I feel like that's not. That's that's something calm. And now I'm going to go with my Jaclyn Hill Ring the Alarm palette. And I'm going to be using the on camera color just because I want that gold look. I want that gold look. And I'm just going to add it right here just to kind of give me that. I feel like this this is this will go well with the white. And I'm not going to put my dramatic eyelashes on um today because I just feel like sometimes when I put my really super dramatic eyelashes on, it kind of like casts a shadow over my eyes and it just kind of makes me look a like it makes it look a little bit darker. I don't know, but in some of my pictures where I've had my um dramatic eyelashes, it was like very um dark okay now this is a gold this is like gold gold this is gold gold honey gold gold so i think this is gonna be it for the gold because this gold is like od so i'm gonna go ahead and just use my transition color one more time um for both of my eyelids to kind of like bring it back kind of blend that out all out And yeah, I just wanted to keep it very neutral, you know, but cute. Okay, so I think this is going to be it for the shadow because like I said before, I didn't want to do anything extra. I'm going to go ahead and do my wing eyeliner and I will be back for foundation. <laughs> Okay, so now that I have added my wing eyeliner and my eyelashes, like I was saying before, I didn't want to go too crazy with my eyelashes just because it's still daytime. Granted, it's cloudy outside, but it's still daytime and it's like, I just didn't want to give too dramatic um, today. So these are just some 
3D mink eyelashes that I got from my local beauty supply store. Nothing special, um, but they get the job done. I still feel like, I don't know, I just feel like uh, my, I, my eye makeup looks dramatic. And I wasn't even trying to go for dramatic. You know what I think it is? I think the eyeliner is what kind of like just... But before I put my foundation on, I'm going to go ahead and use my Baby Skin Primer, Instant Pore Eraser Primer. Um, just... Primer is so important, and at first I really didn't understand the importance of primer, but once I started using primer, I've noticed that my makeup lasts longer, and it just looks way smoother, especially with this pore eraser um, primer. It definitely gives it like a, I don't know, this I think is a silicone primer, if I'm not... Uh, it doesn't say, but it definitely feels like silicone, guys, so I would not be surprised if it was so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that all over my face now I constantly look for new ways and techniques to um, do my makeup just to kind of switch it up for you guys so I did learn this new technique on of course YouTube um, where before I put my foundation, I'm going to go ahead and color correct. Now, I know plenty about color correcting because um, those of you who do makeup, I know you guys know the LA Pro Orange Color Correcting um, Concealer. But I don't really like that con color corrector because it does make your face look pretty orange. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with... So... My camera just stopped recording for whatever reason. Um, let's just hope it doesn't do it again. But I'm going to go ahead and color correct with my Born This Way concealer. And that way I don't have to add too much um, foundation. So I'm just color correcting that in the spots where like my face is like... Hold on, I'm not to... I know my face... My hair is about to look crazy for a second. Um, I'm just putting that in the spots... Uh, that I'm still working on correcting overall. Um, guys, my skin has did a complete 180 and I am just so, you know, happy about that. Um, just because I've always had, like, trouble with my skin. And as of lately, I've just kind of been really taking it easy on my skin. Only using natural products. Only using my raw beauty products. And my skin has definitely improved tremendously. So I just color corrected um, just those spots where I had my um, dark spots. And this side's kind of a lot. This side's not. I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out. I need to get a new beauty blender. So I'm just going to use this kind of like this brush just to kind of like pat it out. Um, I'm sure I can probably find a better brush for blending this out. But I did this before and as you guys can see it's 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 blending out pretty well. So I'm just going to continue to blend out that concealer and then once I'm done doing that, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my foundation and now that I have color corrected with my concealer I don't have to put in um in I don't have to put on a lot of foundation which is good because it's summer I can't wait for like the fall and the winter though because I miss putting on clothes like oh I, I always beg for the summer and I always beg because it's so cold in New York City um but once it's like once the summer gets here, I never really have anything to wear because it's so hot and you don't want to wear too much clothes. So I'm just ready. Fall me, please, ASAP. My birthday is in, I think, three months. Um, not even sure what I'm going to do for my birthday because Corona has just ruined everything. Corona really ruined my life. Nah. <laughs> no, it, it didn't. That was that was a stretch because Corona uh, ruined a lot of people's lives. And that, was, that sounded so like, oh my god, ungrateful. And uh, I didn't mean that. <laughs> but it did ruin a lot of things. So now that I have that color corrected, I am going to go ahead and use my Fit Me <sighs> foundations. This is the same foundations that I've been using. Sorry, I keep looking over at the monitor. I'm like stalking my monitor to make sure that it doesn't turn off because I'm going to be very mad if it does. And I'm literally just using a little bit of foundation, guys. I'm actually going to show you. Sorry, 
throw that on the floor. <laughs> I'm actually going to show you how little a foundation. This is the only, this is it. That's all the foundation I'm going to be using. I don't even know if I need to even mix my warm coconut just because I already have a concealer that is slightly lighter than my skin. Not too much of a difference, but... Um, I don't even think that I really need to do that and if I do if I feel like I'm looking a little bit too dark then it's no biggie for me to just go ahead and add that foundation and right now I'm just going to just push that foundation into my skin there's a special word um, used makeup artists use for what technique I'm doing right now but I cannot remember it to save my life so I'm just gonna keep blending that in but as you guys can see, I didn't even use a lot of foundation. Okay, so now that we have that foundation all blended out, all flawless, as you guys can see, it worked out perfectly fine. I'm going to go ahead and use my Born This Way concealer and um, just conceal underneath my eyes. Now, as you guys can see, this concealer is not, it's not too bright um, because I do like a bright under eye, but it definitely gets the job done with um, concealing my face. <laughs> I don't really know, like, what else to say about that, but, um, yeah, and somebody's calling me. Okay, guys, I know that was, like, <laughs> I got a phone call that I needed to answer. So yeah, but anyway, um, I went ahead and I put that concealer um, on my face. Like I said before, I need a new bleh. I need a new beauty blender. So I'm just going to be using this brush to blend out my concealer. It's not doing a bad job at blending it out. I just have to make sure I'm literally just patting the concealer down and not creating any harsh lines or anything. Guys, my lips look so freaking ashy i swear they're not that ashy in person between the makeup over them and the concealer and everything they look so ashy um but they're not that ashy i promise you see with this part i might have to use my other um brush because this is my nose and i don't want it to have like a big flat contour on my face for my nose so but anyway, how are you guys? Um, comment down below. How are you doing today, this week? Um, yeah. Anything you want to get off your chest? Anything you want me to uh, post? And if you guys aren't already, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is exactly my YouTube name, and my Instagram is also in the description box, so, yeah. Oh my god, I feel like I breathe so heavy. Like, I breathe like... <sighs> my sister always tells me, like, you breathe so loud. What is wrong with you? I don't know why I breathe so loud, guys. I just literally am breathing. I don't really... I can't help the fact that... I breathe so loudly like maybe I was born this way um <laughs> oh my god guys I, I I'm totally not going what I what I'm thinking about doing from now on is I'm gonna casually talk while I'm doing my makeup unless like you know I have planned content where oh I have to be careful when I bring where unless I have like planned content or like a planned topic that I really want you guys, um, I really want to talk about that day. I am going to save, I'm going to separate my makeup videos and my get ready with me's. I'm going to separate that from like my story times or like any kind of like important information that I would want you guys to like know. I'm going to separate the two because I feel like I can't really talk and convince and like tell a story to you guys while I'm over here like, <laughs> so, um, I'm just going to, um, just separate the two but guys I really like this concealer like it's coming out so like it makes my makeup look so good and I don't know if it's like the primer that's just making everything look extra like fleeky 
it's the lips for me. Why do my lips look so crusty? <laughs> but um, I'm about to go ahead and use my Tarte concealer in the color Tan Sand because I need that extra pop underneath my eyes. So I'm just going to go ahead and just do that. And a little right here. And a little on my nose. I really like the... I don't know why, but I really like the, like, super highlighted under eye. Like, I love a bright under eye. But not too bright to where I'm, like, looking like Casper the Ghost. But, um, I love a good under eye. I'm going to go ahead and blend this out using this, um, blending brush. <laughs> using this blending brush because... Is my lighting good? Because I keep... I don't feel like my lane is hitting like as it should be. I don't really... Guys, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just going crazy or something. But I don't know why I felt like my lighting is just not hitting that good. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. But I'm going to go ahead and blend this out and come back to you guys when I am contouring this face. So now that we have that concealer blended out and um, yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and set my concealer using my Lori Mercier um, setting powder. Sorry, sorry, I'm a little thrown off. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and set that underneath my eye. set now I am going to go in with my true complexion and contour this face out I feel like I put a little bit too much um, setting powder on my face so I feel like I had to go in extra with my contour um, so I'm just still trying to figure out if what is, what is giving I'm still trying to figure out what is giving I'm gonna go ahead and use my Juvia's Place blush palette to do my blush and what color do I want I'm going to go ahead and use this color right here. Yeah, I feel like my face is so dry. Guys, I need to check my phone hmm. sometimes you have to check your face your front camera just to see how your makeup is looking because it could look one way on this camera and on my monitor but when you look the phone is what really matters because of course you're going to be like posting videos and all this other stuff like that and you don't want to look crazy so my makeup ended up coming out pretty good I'm actually going to switch it up guys and wait wait I don't, I don't really feel like I need to set my face, but I am. So I'm just going to set my face a little bit using my Fenty. Just a little. But, okay. Yeah. That, that'll work. And I think I want to put on highlight today, guys. Now, I'm don't even have my highlighting brush so I'm just going to use this one 
and I think I'm going to put on a little bit of highlight oh no I don't like it guys I don't like it I have a little bit on. I don't really know if I like it. And I'm pissed. Okay. I am going... Guys, I feel like my energy just, like, shifted. I'm going to add some mascara at the bottom of my lashes. Look at that. <laughs> last step, last step, last step, I promise. What am I looking for? Mm. I am going to go ahead with my MAC lip liner in the color Chestnut. And just line my lips up. So now that we have that makeup done, I am now going to start to pull apart my hair and kind of loosen up these curls so that my hair can come together and not look so stiff and I'm not as you guys can see I'm not pulling them apart too much just because I don't want it to be frizzy um, and of course guys this hair is from KB oh my god y'all see my brown my gray hair right here um, these bundles are from KB Extensions, and as you guys can see, my hair is blending very well with this. I have a sew-in in, and yeah. So we're going to take these curls out, and let's give my hair some life. Let's just give me some life over here, because I need it. Oof. And I'm not going to pull them apart too much just because it's going to drop naturally once I get outside. Wow, guys. Look at that. I feel so pretty. <laughs> I look like such a glamazon. Let's just shake that out a little bit. And guys, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And also follow me on Instagram if you aren't already. But most importantly, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.